Hey, what's going on, everybody? Red Ronald Music here, bringing you another video. Today we're on NASCAR Heat 3. We're going to be checking this out. Um, I haven't played a NASCAR game since the original Heat in, like, 2000 or 2001. So this is going to be interesting. Obviously, I have, like, racing experience and stuff, but, like, I haven't played an official NASCAR game. Well, technically, iRacing, I guess, would be what... Not really. I haven't played an official NASCAR game in like the longest time, so we're gonna check this out. I was doing some quick race earlier just to make sure everything's up to up to snuff as far as like frame rates and stuff like that, and I think I have it all figured out. Um, we're gonna get into this career mode. Let's check out the settings. I'm gonna leave these guys on. We'll do hard and everything else. I'm gonna leave alone. We're on manual transmission and stuff. I got the wheel right here. I already created my driver uh, before in the settings, so we're just gonna use that guy. Welcome to the Extreme Dirt Tour. Many of today's biggest stars got their start competing on dirt. The racing is tough, but with hard work and a little help from a former champion, you can succeed. My name's Haley Deegan, I'm from Temecula, California, and I got my start in racing when I was eight years old in off-road trucks. Racing on dirt tracks is like nothing else. I feel like it's where I go to let loose, kind of get away from the precision, finesse driving. I feel like off-road racing has taught me so much of just being aggressive, really hard racing, hitting hard, and I feel like that transfers really well into stock car racing. Let's go start your career. Hi, welcome to the Extreme Dirt Tour. Racing on dirt is pretty intense. Don't worry, just stick with me and you'll do great. First, you'll have to prove yourself by filling in for drivers on other teams. Those opportunities are called hot seats. If you do well enough, you'll get a full contract offer to a full-time ride next season. Let's go head out to the track and see what you got. Champions need to start somewhere. All right, this is our man Warren, I guess. He's going to be like our manager agent dude. See some contracts or something. We got sponsors going. Nice. Alright, so I guess we just have to look for an offer. And that's about it. So we start off in dirt, and then I assume we move up through like trucks and then Xfinity and then Monster Energy, I guess. We'll do this one. I've never driven on most of these dirt tracks. I've done Eldora and a couple other ones, and that's about it. Oh my, is that loud. Let's, let's bump that down a little bit. Alright. So, we can change our setup. I was running dirt before just to see what it was like when I was testing my uh, frame rates out. And I liked it on loose, or the one off of loose. Uh, you can also fine-tune, but I did this before, and I think it just, like, reset itself back to where it was, so I'm not gonna even bother. I don't even know how that's accurate to this car, because this car has two gears, yet yeah, it says we have four. Uh, I don't really know what that's about, but we'll ignore it, because I'm gonna run one off of loose anyway. I like how the pits for this track is just the grass. Alright. So we do have this view, like the interior view, which I don't mind. But I wish we could change our field of view a little bit just to be able to see. Now from you guys just watching this, you can probably notice that the car doesn't get sideways. Like I'm barely counter steering. And that's kind of the thing about this game. It's a little strange. And I am going to do like a full breakdown and review of this game, which you guys can see on Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. But I will explain like all of this stuff. But as of right now, you can just watch it happen. So, oh boy, he's on the inside. We don't even have a spot or anything. But yeah. The, since the field of view is a little weird, and there's like some weird exposure thing with looking through the bars, we're going to rock this view for now. 
I think I'm better off in this. But yeah, like, the bots look like they're getting sideways, but they're not. Here, watch. So, we're in this view. It looks like our car is sideways right now, but you can see my hands. I'm not counter-steering until we're coming out. Like, we're not actually sideways, we're just, like, pushing it. So, it's a very weird feeling. Especially if you come from something like iRacing's dirt mode or, like, anything like that, where you'd be drifting. It's a weird sensation to not be drifting. You're just kind of like shoveling the car through the turn. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and go back to the pits. We're not going to do an hour of practice because I cannot be bothered. Now we're going to qualify. See, it's strange. Coming out of the pits, or I guess the lawn, there is a little sensation of like a slide. But once you're out here and, like, throwing this thing around, you don't really get that anymore. Like, you get it a little bit, but not what you'd want for something like this. Even left foot braking doesn't really initiate a slide. Like, there's no loss of, like, traction, really. We're gonna qualify with our 17.1. We got bumped all the way down to last, which is unfortunate. We're gonna go up to loose 100%. We're gonna check out this race and see what we can manage. So like even here, where it's almost a flat track, the car still wants to understeer. Like even darting out of this like flat turn. Which like if you're up high trying to come down, it's gonna do that. But once you're starting down and you're like not going that fast, you should be able to manage that. Like that first turn that we started in, coming out of that, we should have been alright. Now I think there's a trend amongst the rest of the YouTubers and everybody playing this that in these first things they're always in last and that's because you have to like manage all of this while these bots are like extra weird and there's no like actual drift. It's definitely a weird thing. It loses like the elements of dirt where you're gonna be doing like slides on people and flicking the car and stuff. That seems to actually make you slower in this game, which is very weird. Yeah, so that went horribly wrong. Though we did make up some spots. I don't know why we're called Race Driver. Maybe I forgot to name our guy, which hopefully I could go back and fix. For some reason my guy had a name before, but not now. Whatever, let's go back in. And we'll get our next race, hopefully, if people liked it. <laughs> well, you get $35,000 for that, or is that for this series? Is this like a whole Monster Energy or Mountain Dew series? Or was that like that one race where you get 35000 Because that's ridiculous if you do. I don't think you get that much in dirt in real life. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get top 18. Let's see what we could do. Despite all of, like, uh, the weird qualities of this game, as far as, like, this dirt and stuff goes, it's still fun. Like, I'm enjoying it. And there's not really that many, like, NASCAR games. Like, you got iRacing with the oval stuff, but I don't think that's officially, like, licensed NASCAR. I don't know. It could... I think the series is, but there's no, like, actual drivers or anything like that. And this has a little more story to it. iRacing doesn't have a story at all. Like, it's just, you get in and race and that's it. But that's like a sim racer. This is more arcadey. Yeah, other than this, it's pretty much Forza that has the NASCAR thing. And I don't know if they even have that anymore. I haven't, I haven't stayed up to date with Forza. Oh, we can get a mirror. This is a very weird thing. Because you are sideways a little bit. It's just not a lot. 
It's almost what I could imagine the McLarens feel like, where they have that, like, weird slide traction control where you're, like, allowed to slide but not beyond a certain point. It's almost like that. It's like you could get maybe 10 degrees sideways, but anything more than that, you're not gonna get. Unless you really throw it, and then by then you're just gonna lose speed. Like, we'll check it out. We'll do a flick. And it just automatically, like, straightens out. It doesn't hold, which is weird. I wonder if tuning messes with anything, like, if you could go in there and fix it. But I don't really know. But I think also the issue with this game is, like, everybody that's doing it right now on YouTube, for the most part, that I've seen, including myself, we're all, like, doing sim racing most of the time. And this isn't really a sim racer. This is just a racing game that happens to have wheel support. And I think we're all breaking it down a little too seriously. So I'm going to try to, like, avoid doing that. Because, like I said, as far as, like, a casual game, this is a lot of fun. Like, I'm enjoying this even though it's, like, not doing what it should. I still like it. And I can only imagine what the online's going to be like. Because I assume you could have a 40-person lobby or 43 or whatever NASCAR goes up to. Uh, and I feel like that would be a lot of fun. After this episode, I'll go check out the online, and I'll see what's up. And I'm sure I'll speak about that on my review on Tuesday as well. Plus, who knows what they're gonna do. This is the first ga the This is the first day the game has been out. So there could be an update for it, like, tonight, for all I know. So... That could probably just fix everything, I don't know. I don't know what they got planned, I don't know what they're aware of, or like anything like that. But it's early. I don't know if there's really a reason for us to bother qualifying, because I think we automatically get put in last. So, we're gonna just skip that and go right to the race. Let's go ahead and continue, instead of Stay watching up. that cutscene thing, even though they're cool. There is a lot of bumping in this game, too, just because it's, like, so weird. Like, watch these bots versus, like, me. My car is loose, but they hold, like, a, a straight line. Like, they don't move, they don't feel, like, the physics of what I'm feeling. But they're not, like, affected by it. So they'll keep, like, a straight line most of the time. All right, we still gotta get some more positions back. Oh, we got, we got shoved into a wall. Let's restart. That's what I mean. Like, those bot things like that, where they'll just, like, run into you. <laughs> like, they don't care what you're doing. And I do know there's, like, a little more contact and dirt stuff, but... Well, that's different. <laughs> where the hell did that guy come from? He did do a slide. But we're not really sliding. So you really can't give up the inside. It's weird. It's like even in the straight, it's faster. Oh, here we go again. That was weird. Tried to go down at first, and it like went to neutral, even though I was in first. I don't know what that was all about. I don't know if we're going to be able to bring this back. I think my point is, like, watch them come out of the turn. Watch these two right in front of us, at least. They're gonna come out of the turn, and they're gonna be flying while we're, like, still dealing with what the car is doing. I am getting a feel for it, though, but it's still, like, not a dirt feel. It's just, like, a different type of racing.
Nah, we're not gonna get him. This game is hard. On hard difficulties like this, I think I have them on straight up hard. There's also Legend, which I can only imagine. But it's weird. I don't, I don't know how to explain, as far as like difficulty goes, what's going on. Anyways, this was just a first quick look at NASCAR Heat 3. I definitely plan on playing this on the channel more. And like I said, I'm going to do a review of this. I'm going to break it down as I play it over the weekend. And I'm going to do a review of this game on Tuesday. But I'll definitely have more Let's Plays further on in the future past Tuesday. Maybe even Monday. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you like seeing this on the channel. If you like seeing NASCAR Heat 3 on the channel and you want to see more of it, hit the like button down below and let me know. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you can get notified for when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all next time. Peace.